so today we'll talk about a problem with samsung uh, microwave so the problem would be whenever you switch this microwave on the power comes the display comes it powers on but now the point is the moment you open the door everything goes and the thing that's happening here is actually not inside the microwave it's actually tripping the main circuit breaker the main circuit electrical breaker so that is something wrong with the microwave right so this is a common problem i have already faced it earlier already took out the solution the same thing happens again so now i have decided to make a video for this so i think the same thing must be going on with other brands as well so let's see what the problem is first of all let's see what has happened to our circuit breaker outside so this is the and you see that this mcb has tripped because of opening the door of the microwave so now we'll have a look we'll open the microwave and i'll tell you what the problem is if the problem is the same again which i'm quite sure about see the moment we have turned on the mcb the power has come back again and i am quite sure the moment i open the door it will go back again see this is what exactly what has happened so let's see what's going on Let's see, you should be very careful not to tamper in that part because we had just switched on and switched off our microwave. So that capacitor is going to hold lots of charge. So we don't have to go into that area. And if you see, by and large, there is no sign of a burn or anything like that. So our main concern right now is to replace the door switches. Whenever you open the door, there are two switches. So our main concern here is the door switches which gets activated when we open the door. So it's one is right here and the other one is if you see is right here. So these are two door switches. Most of the times the problem lies with these switches. They cannot properly engage or disengage which results into some problem in the circuit and then it leads to a tripping off of the MCB. So these two switches were replaced around two years back. That's why I think I probably know what the problem here is right now. So just an easy demonstration for you guys. One is that switch and the other one is that switch. Both are concerned with the functioning of the door so just to confirm if you want to confirm that the problem is actually in the switch you see that is a switch right here down and uh, if you see this uh, let me throw some light inside see that uh, black uh, see this black thing you see it doesn't it doesn't give you that feel which the new switch gives so for the new switch the this is going to be something like this where it gets pressed and released on closing the door and opening of the door so if you see this carefully this is kept pressed it's just kept see the not clear it's just kept pressed it's actually pressed it's not coming up it's not coming up like this one if you compare the two, the profile of that button is, it has sunk inside the body of the switch. So we can clearly make out that that switch is malfunctioning. Coming to this lower switch, the second one. See when I close the door, when I close the door, the switch will press. So that switch seems to be alright. That switch seems to be alright. But the main problem lies with that switch. Because... The button of switch has not yet come up. It's sunk inside the body of the switch only. So it is not. Let me try it with the screwdriver. If I want to show you more clearly, let's see. This this thing is not behaving like a button. It's permanently pressed inside. 
so it's not behaving like a button it's fully pressed it's not coming up again so so to take out this tray and to replace the switch you need to open these two switches two screws sorry so the moment we open these two screws that tray will become loose and will come out so this is how you have to take it out let's open the connectors sometimes gets difficult to take this things out but this much of opening is enough and this will permit me to remove this switch easily so that i will be able to replace it there's a lock just this is a lock and these are very be very careful these are plastic locks So if you see this, the switch doesn't have that functionality. The plunger is not above the level as this one, right? So that's a malfunction switch. Let's remove the connector. So this connector needs to be removed, and you see when you try to force this, this says come out. So it's sticking again. See, it's not clicking freely, jamming, and it's coming out. So this screw is defect. This uh, switch is defective. Let's replace this one with the correct or the right. Uh, and these are the pre-shaped connectors. They just fit in. You just have to slide it like this, and then you just put the screw inside and put the you just have to it just clicks in place. It just takes its own place. There's no rocket science on that. And just since I opened this, let me change the other switch as well. not taking chance you know this is the second one down there let's we'll just remove that thing by the same anywhere sorry if you're not able to see it inside but yeah that's the second one that's the second one though it I don't see any problem with this switch. Now I take a chance. Let's change it. Yeah, that's the screw. Now this has been changed. You know, fitting this thing there only. Don't worry. There are holes inside. you should know the correct orientation of these since you want to put the uh, switch back into its place exactly as it was This is how actually it should function like. So let's go back and fix it and fix the assembly inside. Putting the fastening screws, holding screws back again.
So now what happens? See, when you close the door, that is a switch which we have replaced. That you are able to see the switch. Now what happens? Whenever we close the door, this plunger comes on the switch and presses it. And whenever we remove or open the door, the switch gets released properly, right? Same thing happens with the switch which is right there. Nice. So let's so let's put uh, put everything back and then we'll test whether we had been successful in uh, fixing this microwave. So I've just done a bit of exercise opening this switch and as you see here that the contacts are quite burnt. See that. You see that that you see this blackening and burning inside. So what happens is this gets stuck up quite often. So this was a defect as you see. It's getting stuck again stuck up again and again. So this definitely needs to be replaced. Won't work. So the microwave has been installed again into its place. Let's switch on the... Now, keeping our fingers crossed. See, the same thing. Now there's no problem. You can just open the door and it stays back. What more it's going to function? Absolutely well as well. It's fine. So again, the same problem and the same solution. I hope it would help many of you maybe. Thank you.